Okay, Walter, you asked about cast iron in a comment yesterday in the video that I made yesterday morning. So it's Sunday morning, and it's uh, it, it, these days it's pretty warm in the in the daytime, but the mornings are still a little cool in the shop. So it's about 13 degrees Celsius this morning. So I don't know what that is. Maybe 55 Fahrenheit. Anyway. Um, uh, I um, this morning I took this um, this cutter that I normally use it's just a two flute end mill and I ran it across uh, this piece of cast iron and just kind of uh, took off the rough outer surface so I just maybe it actually wasn't too bad I just took off about ten thousandths so you can see the finish that 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 um, that this end mill leaves and let me see if I can um, maybe enhance that a little bit you can see actually it's not terrible you know let me um, move the camera a little bit you know it's not it's not a terrible finish so <clears throat> after that I I um, I put this cutter in there and um, so I'm going to make a pass. I'm just this is going to be a really short video. It's not going to be very long because I already talked about this cutter yesterday. So um, you asked also. You saw some wobble, um, you know, at the junction between the head and the shank. Um, I'm thinking that you're seeing that there's a black line there where they chamfered it and I'm thinking you're seeing that but I don't know exactly what you are I looked at the video again and um, I can sort of see what you're talking about but anyway I um, I don't know where this is at but I cranked it down a couple thousand so we'll see what's happening make sure I got the vise tight I didn't really spend a bunch of time and this block isn't square so I'm not sure what will happen here, but um, let's fire it up. And I had it, let me, uh, let me crank down the speed, because we don't need anything, you know, super fast going on here. And um, so I'm going to make a pass across here. And... Um, See what happens. Uh, I this is um, typical piece of um, cast iron. So let's go. Let's um, let me crank the speed down here a little bit. Well, okay, looks like I need to come down a couple thousands. I thought I had it, but I guess I, I guess not. I don't know where it's at here, I guess. I thought I touched off, but maybe I didn't. Well, let's just crank it down a few more thousands. That should hopefully that's taking something off. Yep. Hopefully 
that'll leave a comparison. Uh, probably should take a little bit more off. Probably should make another pass. Probably taking off about five thousandths. Not a lot. It's not getting all the way though. You can still see the lines from the last cut, I think. Well, let's move it down another few thousandths. So here we go again, just kind of ease into it here. Yeah, we're taking a pretty good cut now. I guess I should have should have gone down the middle, but I I this is taking the whole width of the cutter, which is 50, 50 millimeters, two inches, I guess. But there'll be a small strip on the outer edge of the old cut. Maybe I can zoom in on that. You can see what the finish is on the cast iron versus the steel. And I have the piece of steel laying over here. We can take another look at it and do a comparison on that, although I'm not sure what we can see in the camera. with this. It's, it's definitely looks to me, this is, I haven't looked at it, this is my first shot at it, so it looks to me like the finish is much nicer. I've, I've always been content with whatever that other end mill left, but, but, um, I'm, I'm sure this is much nicer. Once this makes the pass, I'll run the table back to the other end because I know the 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 uh, things are in the way. You can't see everything, so. Okay, I, hopefully you can see that. It's a little hard for me to tell. I can't see the camera. Let me uh, let me let me wipe it off a little bit here. Let me dust some of the dust off. You know this cast iron is messy stuff, right? You know that, right? <laughs> we both know that, don't we? Okay, so I can't polish it, but you can, so I, I, I actually, I'm sitting here looking at it. It feels glass smooth. If I, if I did anything to polish that up, that I could make that, I could make a beautiful finish out of that, actually. And I, I got a pretty good ridge there. Okay, so let's, that's that. I hope you can see. So this, here's the piece of steel, and I'll turn it the opposite direction. 
So there's the piece of steel we did yesterday. I don't know if we can compare or not. Now let me, um, well we're really zoomed in now, right? Let me see here, let me, yeah we're pretty, we're pretty far zoomed in now, actually. Move it out a little bit. Well, there's a comparison. I got the light on, but I'm not sure how good that is. It's not a it's not a strong light, and this just kind of turns it <laughs> blue or something. I guess I put the put the um, this. I have one of these small small torch here um, that's high intensity, but. I'm not sure that, that that helps at all either. This this is not a photography studio, so unfortunately we get it. anyway that's that's what it looks like. And um so I I don't know I can't like I say I can't see the camera, so I don't know. Um let me let me take this out. got a little piece of rod in here because it didn't sit down on the parallels good so there it is looks pretty good to me I'm not sure where we're at here can come out or go in this light but no matter where I move this light doesn't seem to help much well, I'll take a look at it. It may be, this may be of interest to somebody too, so maybe I'll post it this morning and and um, we'll see what happens. Anyway, so there it is. Piece of cast iron versus a piece of 1018 steel. So, it, it looks pretty good to me. It looks as good as the steel does actually. Um, I'm 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 I think I'm happy with that. Okay, I'll call off now. Post this so you can see